this uh, Thursday morning. It's Berger and Prescott and Jeff. We Three years ago, Mike Berger and Jeff okay. Prescott okay. defected from KGB to 91X. 7.55, 5 now before 8 o'clock. Coming up on 91X News here with Berger and Prescott. Stand by, you'll hear this story. Would you drive over a bridge made of spaghetti? The big defection was all part of San Diego's morning radio wars. Yeah, it is a war. It really is a war. The stakes are high, and uh, San Diego happens to be a very competitive market. And Morning Drive is radio's prime time. It's when the most people listen. It's when the money is on the table. Thursday morning, the cutting edge of rock, 91X. 91X tries to keep its edge with music. Berger and Prescott try to keep their edge with the talk. And at 8 o'clock, this is 91X for Thursday, February 11th. All right, did you see it last night? Did you see that Michael Jackson interview? Well, the hot topic last things. Thursday morning Michael. was Oprah's interview with Michael. Well, if you saw the Michael Jackson, Oprah Winfrey thing last night on uh, on the tube, and, uh, and and your opinion has changed of, uh, of Michael, well, we'd love to hear from you right now. At five, seven, yeah, you got to kind of wake up in the morning and decide, okay, what was everybody talking about last night? What's the buzz around town? And you try and capture that because... I think that's what the regular people probably will be talking about at work. Uh, good morning, 91X. Did you see the Michael Jackson interview last night on the tube? I sure did. Uh, now, did your opinion change, Mike? Uh, absolutely. Before, I thought it was kind of weird and just because of what the Inquirer said about him. You know, I, uh, I tried moonwalking last night. I did $200 damage to my rear end. It's hard to do. <laughs> my wife frequently complains that I spend more time with Jeff Prescott than her. So if you take a look at it from that perspective, you've got to enjoy working with the people that you work with. Uh, Otherwise, it's just not going to work. I, I think it needs to freshen the act up a little bit myself, at least after the halftime Super Bowl thing. It's sort of like, you know, been there, done that, grab your crotch again. Okay, fine. How's it going? Pretty good. What's happening this morning? Not too Hold on. Shut up, you dorks. I'm on the phone. Not every morning radio show has a resident in-house stand-up comedian. 91X has rusty nails. You know, I might even go out and buy one today because, like, you know, every Thursday I get a lot of cash, dude. What, what are you working on Thursdays? Yeah, dude, the reader comes out, you take a stack over to newspaper recycling, good for about 10, 15 bucks. Wait a minute, I don't know. They're free. They're fine. These guys are the two best morning show people in the city. I've worked with other ones here at 91X, and, and these two make me... Uh, funnier than I really am. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy to put three funny guys together in a room and have it come out right, but they pull it off. <laughs> Chris Saunders, News 8.